Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain deploying Jasper Report server in Docker. So, in this topic, we are going to cover deploying Jasper Report server in Docker with Docker commands. For this deployment, you will require two images that is, Jasper Server Web App and Jasper Server Buildomatic. If you want to know how to create these images, please refer to the video creating docker images for jasper report server so let's jump into the demo now for this deployment you will find each and every step in readme file which is present under js docker repository for that you just have to navigate to jasper soft containers folder under that, go to Docker, JRS, and here you will find readme file. These are the prerequisites that are required for this deployment. The first step is installer setup. You can follow these steps to do installer setup. For this deployment, I have already done the installer setup. Once the installer setup is done, then the next step is docker build and runtime environment variables. These are the default variables that are already set in docker file. Build arguments is one where you should pass all the variables that are present in .env if you want to change any of them. After that, the next step is build the images using docker build. Before you build the image, make sure that dbhost value, which is present in default master.properties, is your Postgres DB host name. Here, we are passing dbhost as a repository because while running Postgres DB container, we set the name of Postgres container as a repository. To build the images using docker build first you have to navigate to containers path and you need to run these two commands here the first command will create image for jasper server buildomatic and second command will create the image for jasper server web app Before you build the images, make sure that you will replace the version with actual JRS version that you want to deploy. If you want to know how to create these images, please refer to the video Creating Docker Images for Jasper Report Server. I have already created these images, so let's have a look. As you can see here, images for Jasper Server Web App and Jasper Server Buildomatic are present. Now, the next step is key store generation. You can perform key store generation in two ways. First one is using Jasper Report Server Installer, and second is using Docker Run. For this deployment, I am generating the key store using docker run. Make sure that 
buildomatic image must be created before going, going to the next steps. To generate the key store, you need to run this command. Before running it, make sure that you will replace host path with actual path on your host machine and JRS version with the version that you want to deploy. So let's run this command. Build is successful. That means keys got generated. Once the keys are generated, then you need you need to copy them from host path to key store folder. You can find key store folder under Jaspers of Containers folder, Docker, JRS resources and here you can see keystore folder i have already copied the keys so let's have a look as you can see keys are copied Once the keys are copied, then you need to change the key store permission to 644 using this command. This is done. Now, the next step is repository setup. For this deployment, I am doing repository setup using Docker Trun. For that, first, you need to run this command. This will create and run Postgres container. It ran successfully. As you can see here, Postgres container is created and it is up. You can perform repository setup in two ways that is, without samples or with sample. If you want to load Postgres container without sample, then use this command. If you want to load Postgres container with sample, then you can use this command. Before running this command, make sure that you will replace container path and JRS version with your actual values. I am doing repository setup with samples. Build is successful. So let's check for the containers. Uh, buildomatic container will get exited after loading all the data into Postgres container. For this deployment, 
I'm doing repository setup using internal database. You can also perform repository setup using external database without sample or with sample. For that, you just need to follow the command that I mentioned in this readme file. Once the repository setup is done, then the next step is deploying Jasper repo server application. For that, you need to copy your Jasper repo server's obtain license file into license folder. You can find license folder under Jasper of containers folder, Docker, JRS, resources, and here you can see license folder. I have already copied the license file, so let's have a look. You can see license file here. Now, next is you need to set the permissions to 644 for that license file. After that, next step is repository setup using docker container. For that, first you need to run this command. This will create and run AccuMQ container. It ran successfully. Next, you need to run this command. This will link ActiveMQ and repository to your application. This part will mount a license directory inside the container. And this part will mount Kisto directory inside the container. Before running this command, make sure that you will replace container path and JRS version with your actual values. This is done. So let's check for the containers. Containers are created and they are up. You can also perform repository setup using external DB. For that, you need to follow the commands that are mentioned in this readme file. Now, Jasper repo server application is deployed. You can access it by using this URL. Make sure that you will replace hostname with your hostname. Let's log in into it. So, Jasper Repo Server application is deployed successfully. Thank you.